Little Red Riding Hood Starring Little Red Riding Hood, Tyne Krak Wolf and Grandmother, Magda Rak Hunter, Paweł Rak In a village, on the edge of the forest, lives a little girl that everybody calls Little Red Riding Hood because of the red coat that she always wears. One day, the little girl's mother says that her grandmother is sick. Can I visit her to help her feel better? asks the girl. Okay, but take this bag full of nice food and be careful. Promise never to leave the road. Little Red Riding Hood promises never to leave the road. But as soon as she enters the forest, she forgets her promise. Soon, she is in the middle of the forest, where a very scary animal lives, the big bad wall. The wolf sees the girl and says to himself, Why is the little girl in the middle of the forest? She must be lost. Nobody from the village comes here. Bad for her, but good for me. I can have a delicious lunch. He lifts his cape and asks her with a smile. Hello, my dear. What is your name? Why are you in the forest? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my sick grandmother. Immediately, the wolf decides to eat them both. But to do it, he needs to arrive at the grandmother's house before the little girl. He can eat the grandmother first and then wait for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive and eat her too. First of all, he needs to leave the little girl so that he has enough time to reach the house before her. The wolf asks the girl, Why don't you take her some flowers? I love flowers, and I'm sure my grandmother loves them too, the little girl says. There are some beautiful flowers over there, lies the wolf and points the little girl towards some flowers that are very far away. Little Red Riding Hood goes to take them. Well done, my dear. Go and get lost in the forest. Meanwhile, I'm going to eat your grandmother, ha ha ha, thinks the wolf. The wolf runs to the grandmother's house, he knocks on the door and imitates the voice of the little girl. Open the door, grandmother, I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood, you're here to visit me? How kind! Come in, my dear, the door is open. The wolf enters the house, jumps on the bed and eats the grandmother in one bite. Then he puts on her pyjamas and her glasses and, and gets into the bed to wait for Little Red Riding Hood. The little girl arrives a few minutes later. When the little girl knocks on the door, the wolf imitates the voice of the grandmother and says, Who is it? It's Little Red Riding Hood, she responds. What a lovely surprise! Come in, the door is open. The girl enters the house and takes the bag full of nice food and the flowers into the kitchen. Then she goes to see her grandmother in the bedroom. You look strange, Grandmother. What a big eyes you have, she says. All the better to see you with, my dear, responds the wolf. And what big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. And what a big mouth you have. All the better to eat you with, my dear shouts the wolf and he eats Little Red Riding Hood in a single bite. While the wolf is snoring in the bed with his belly in the air, a hunter passes by the house and hears the strange sound. 
He sees that the door is open. He enters and sees the wolf in a deep sleep. The hunter takes out his knife and opens the wolf's stomach. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother jump out. The hunter is very surprised. They are both afraid and hurt by, but safe. They hug each other and then thank the hunter for saving them. I was sure that nobody could save us, says the grandmother. I'm very happy, says the hunter. Today is a special day for me too. Now I can't go home satisfied. The hunter puts the heavy wolf on his shoulders and walks towards his home. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother celebrate with a slice of cake and lots of hugs. The grandmother tells the little girl, Never disobey your mother, my dear, and don't listen to the advice of strangers. Little Red Riding Hood promises to be more obedient in the future. At home, the little girl tells her mother about her adventure and gives her a big hug. Her mother also tells Little Red Riding Hood that it's wrong to be disobedient, but she's very happy to see the little girl safe and sound.